Welcome to the first ever video on this channel and today we're going to be unboxing a fishing reel. We don't need any tools to unbox this because basically the box is wrapped in newspaper so all we got to do is rip it open just like that. See? Easy as pie. Didn't even take like what 5 seconds? I don't know. Get rid of that and this. Oh, I've been waiting for this reel for a whole week. Like, I couldn't wait. The minute I saw the picture, I was scrolling through Facebook. I saw this reel and I was like, yep, I have to get this. By the way, this is an ultralight reel. Ultralight basically means that the poundage is between two to six pounds. Eight pounds will be an exception, but usually two to six pounds. And this reel, as you can see the brand, it's made by Devil's Craft. And the model of this reel is the Cheetahs or Cetus Attack Limited Edition. This is my first limited edition reel. So I really cannot wait to open this and show you guys how this reel looks like. So before we open this, let's go through the specs. Now it is 800SW. To be honest, I don't even know what that means, but the gear ratio is 5 to 0 to 1. It has 6 plus 1 ball bearings. Line capacity, yeah, 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 all those good stuff. Max drag, 3 kilograms. So, 3 kilograms is about, I don't know, around 6 pounds? I'm not very good with conversions, but yeah, whatever. 3 kilograms. It's the purple diamond version. There are two versions, the purple diamond and the gold red diamond. So, I got the purple diamond and I kid you not, guys, this thing is a beast. It's not a very big reel. Oh, okay. All right, so we can't see the reel yet. Whoa, it's in a pouch. That is so cool. It's my first reel that came in a pouch. And then what is, not too sure what these two things are. Probably some spare parts or something. And then we have this silica gel throw away, do not eat. What are you gonna do if I eat it, huh? You're gonna throw me in jail or something? If I wanna eat it, I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, let's open this for the first. Oh, I see the handle. I mean the the part where you attach to the rod. Check this out you guys Look at this beast of a reel. Tell me that is not one gorgeous beautiful looking reel like seriously Where's the handle though? Where's the handle? Is it in here? It better be in here. Oh, yep, it is Oh my goodness, the gold handle. I'm so stoked to have this. This is the limited edition version, meaning it does not have a lot that was made. Salt water weapon. But I'm not going to be using this for salt water, just fresh water. Wait, let me put on this handle. There we go. Got this thingy out. But oh my goodness, this... Basically, this handle, we just screw it in over here. Just turn it, turn it, turn it. Sorry, I don't have my tripod. I actually found my tripod. It's downstairs. I'm too lazy to go get it. It's it's like 1 a.m. right now, so... Actually, I was screwing it the wrong way. It was supposed to go this way, and then it, it's much easier. See, it just goes in right now. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> if I was doing it the wrong way, what was I even doing? Obviously, it's this way, because the reel, you, you reel it this way. Oh my gosh. There we go. Look at this reel, you guys. That is one hell of a sexy looking reel. Do you not agree? My other spinning reels, their handles are made of wood, but this is the first time I'm getting a reel that the handle is made of metal. Dang, feels good. Feels really, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna be spinning this reel. Give me a sec, since I don't have my tripod. I'll put my phone on this chair thing over here. Please don't fall. This is super smooth. Even the barrel or whatever you call this, the, the handle... What do you call this? Write it down in the comments below. I actually know what it's called, but I just forgot. So yeah, anyways, this is awesome. Love this reel. I got this for just around $40, so it's quite worth it if you'd ask me. No regrets. Let's put the line on. So this is one of my older spinning reels that I don't use anymore. It has six pound Berkeley, I think it's Fireline. Fireline or Triline, I can't quite remember, but it has six pound braided line, which I will be putting on this reel. I mean, look at these two, you guys. Look at the difference. This looks like trash now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's just say they're not comparable at all. So I've got all of the line out from this reel and onto this sexy reel over here. I know the line doesn't look white as how it is supposed to be. That's because this line, I've used it and water, they're not always clean. So yeah, white when it touches dirty stuff, what happens exactly? When a big fish gets on the line, listen to this drag. 
Dang, listen to this real scream. <laughs> Seriously, you don't want to miss this out. I am not sponsored by this. It's just that the moment I saw this reel up for sale, I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna get that. Although I don't really need another reel because I have like a ton of reels down there. As you can see, we'll get into another video explaining all those. It is a Japanese brand, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty decent. So over here is where you can lock your line, just like many other reels have, just like that. We're gonna try this reel out tomorrow and we'll see who's the lucky first fish that gets caught, so yeah. So let's put this reel on the rod that I'll be using it on. Oh man, that is looking awesome. So this reel will be paired with this Pioneer Evo Solid Carbon Rod. It is 5 feet 6 inches, 2 to 8 pounds, 14 to 14 grams of lure weight. Focus! Whatever. And the action, it's a little bit blur, or well, actually it's very blur. But if you can see that, it's ultra light. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't like it, feel free to thumbs it down. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe, turn on notification bell. You guys take care and peace. I'll see you guys later.